Hi, everybody. Uh, thanks for still being here this afternoon. Uh, it's been great so far this morning. We've got some fantastic ideas with a small word that we'd love to take back and have a look at when we get there. We've got the uh, eco monitor from Aston Church Finwood. I think it's a great idea because in our school, I know, we're all guilty that leaving computers on over lunchtime, it happens every day. And the glass bottle uh, greenhouse as well from Abbey, that's fantastic as well. That's something to look, have a look at. Uh, there's two parts to this presentation. There's my bit, which is the uh, not so long, hopefully not too boring for everybody bit. And then there's a video at the end, which uh, Key Stage 2 kids have worked at. Um, and I think that's the best bit of this presentation. But what I'm going to read through is the kind of things that we do at school try and involve all key stages. Uh, so everybody's involved in the process of being more eco-friendly, being aware of how we uh, at school have an impact on the environment. Uh, what we try and do, the main project that we have is uh, involved around growing our own produce. Um, and how that works is we've got, as you can see, looking through now, uh, we've got our own vegetable gardens. Uh, that is done on uh, several levels. We have children with their own patch, or we have class uh, patches as well. So it gives uh, children the opportunity to have a look at which uh, plants they'd like to grow, uh, which plants are locally sourced. So we're not talking about growing bananas, uh, we're wanting to grow you know, sweet peas, broad beans, uh, tomatoes, uh, that type of produce. Um, so that goes on a lot. There's research that goes into it, and it also sparks a lot of the conversation in between classes as well. Uh, it lets children think about what I would like to grow this, but what can we grow? Uh, what is suitable to grow, and what would other uh, members of the school like to grow? The second part of our little cycle that we have is. Nurturing the harvest. Uh, this is the second stage. Uh, the pupils get to keep an eye on what's going on. Uh, they do it in the greenhouse that we've got at the present time, and they also do it in the outside areas. Uh, this lets the uh, children sort of form a routine as well, as we let them decide how much that they want to put into the project. They can go every day if they want to, every day at lunchtime to have a look at the, uh, how the uh, crop is going on. We can do it you know, once a week, but it forms a real strong sense of teamwork, um, especially as uh, quite often we have children off school uh, with medical problems. So it's, you know, for example, the pupils not here today, let's make sure that his little bit is being looked after. So it really develops a strong bond between uh, all the pupils that are involved in this project. Then what we do is we've got some resources called our internet cafe. It's quite new. Um, we've had it for, I'd say, less than six months. And what the aim is there is to uh, integrate not only uh, meals for people within school setting, but also uh, to invite people from the wider community. Uh, so we've um, been out into the community. We've asked uh, some uh, old people to come in, and they've been uh, Look at some soup fronts, been having the recycle, uh, the uh, sorry, the, uh, the produce that we've made ourselves, and also we've been having to go on the internet as well. So it's, it's forming two functions really about eco friendly and sustaining what we're doing in school, but also trying to promote uh, use of the internet as well. And to complete the cycle, everything that we do. We always try and recycle as much as possible, compost as much as possible from all parts of the process. Not only from uh, the crop that we produce in school to use in the cafe and in the school cafeteria, but also there's no way that we could produce enough food to completely supply the food for every school meal. So all the waste that the kitchen has as well, we compost and we try and get as much back into it as well. Uh, that completes that little bit of cycle. That's, I say, our main project that we have within school to uh, encourage uh, children to think about uh, being eco-friendly and climate change and what they can do, no matter what it is, even if it's just you know, having a, a tomato plant at home, a little thing that they can do that does have an impact. Uh, 
Um, another thing to point out as well is that there's such a wide variety of uh, activities on display there. Uh, there's the gardening, not all people to engage with that, uh, but some people will be engaged with the food preparation side of things. Uh, as of next year, we're looking to introduce uh, some qualifications along those lines as well. Uh, GCSEs and entry level certificates will be coming in from September. Uh, this is more of a general thing that we're looking to do around school. Uh, as we've all talked about it, there are lots of little easy things that people can do. Turning off light uh, switches, making sure computers are shut down properly. Um, there are lots of things that we'd love to do. We'd love to have solar panels on our roof, but unfortunately it's not practical for us. Uh, I've listed buildings, so many planning regulations uh, to get through that that's not possible. So we're looking at mainly uh, ground source heat pumps, because we do have uh, a large field which is bathed in sun most of the time. Uh, to give you an idea of how much it would cost for us, uh, we have seven classrooms across the front of our school, and each one is glazed nearly from floor to ceiling height, I and mean, it's single, single head glazing, glazing, which I know is great. But to replace each classroom would cost between 35 and 40 thousand pounds. Uh, and we've got seven classrooms. And you know, as much as I like, think it's not about money, you know, there is always a limitation there. So we're looking to do as much as we can uh, to try and uh, lower our impact. Uh, one of the things we've got, this is our Fragile Your Internet Cafe, uh, the ceilings have lowered by about uh, 15 to 20 percent, so less, uh, less classrooms heat as well. Uh, what we're doing now, um, a lot of these ideas do actually come direct from student council. Uh, the Bemsha just come up is absolutely fantastic. Uh, that's made of uh, all recycled materials. It won't fade, uh, it's very tough, uh, and yeah, it doesn't need any maintenance. So Hopefully that should be there for the next 15, 20, 25 years. Uh, we've put recycling bins next to all the printers. Uh, that's for two reasons. So waste paper doesn't get cut straight to the bin. And also it lets people think, you see that recycling bin, you know, do I really need to be printing this? Do I need to be photocopying this item? So it gives people that little reminder uh, that they need. And uh, recycling our materials as well, there's a lovely picture up there. They don't even quite tell. But it's uh, two large counters about this size, and there's, I wouldn't like to count how many, but lots and lots and lots of uh, bottle tops and uh, lids from coffee jars that we've got in the uh, got eco friendly message behind it as well. Uh, what we're doing in the future uh, as well, we've uh, got uh, a few things coming in. We've got uh, an orchard planted already, obviously, it doesn't produce uh, fruit straight away. We've had that in for the maybe eight or nine months. Hopefully, we'll be getting some fruit this autumn, but we're not too sure. Uh, but we've got uh, an euphonic bottle, so it will look something like that. That just extends the amount of food that we can grow. And uh, we can actually be outside for as well, because with the inclement weather, um, you know, more extremes of weather, we want to try and create an environment which is uh, sustainable and that we can do a lot of working outside. Um, this is the end of the presentation, that's one of my boring attempts. This is where the good bit starts. Uh, this is a project which involves most of the school. Um, you'll see children from Key Stage to uh, Beach in the film, um, as it said up there. Uh, we were supported by uh, people from Key Stage 4 who actually helped with the filming. And it was edited by people with 16 plus. So uh, I'll stop talking now and I hope you enjoy this film. It's a couple of minutes long. And hopefully you all have to do it